Hi everyone and welcome back to the JavaScript Array series. In this video we're going to be looking at two different methods, the push and the pop method. So let's get started. So first we'll create our empty data array and the first method we'll look at is the push method and what this method allows us to do is add to the end of an array. So right now our data array is empty. So if we go data.push this will push on the value 1 onto an array. We can push also push on a string, so let's just say uh, Winston and save that. And if we refresh the page, oh, we want to print it out, sorry. console.log data. And if we refresh the page, you can see that they were pushed on. And note the order they're pushed on. So they always get added to the end of the array. So if we had the initial value on here, say we had uh, 3, 4, and 5, the resulting array will be 3, 4, 5, 1, Winston. So let's refresh that, and there we go. We have 3, 4, 5, 1, and then Winston. So when we call this push method, what's returned from it is the new length of the array. So if we were to print this out, console.log, we save that, it should print out five. There we go. So this is saying after we've pushed this, these two elements onto the array, the new size of this array is five. So the next method we wanna look at is the pop method. What the pop method does is allow us to return the last element on the array. So let's go console.log and we will go data.pop. So this should return Winston. There we go. So if we were to do it again, or two more times, it will return Winston, one, and then five. There we go, Winston, one, and five. And you can see that our data array, after we've popped off these three elements, will now be just consists of two elements. So three and four. So that's how you use the push and pop method. The push method is used to add to the end of the array, whereas the pop method is used to remove from the end of the array. That's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.